Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Coinbase and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently, and that is how do you use Apple Pay on Coinbase? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna use your Apple Wallet in Coinbase? Well, that's pretty easy. Coinbase offers various payment methods when you're buying cryptocurrency and Apple Wallet happens to be one of them. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the Coinbase app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave more information there, but I'm going to open up my Coinbase account now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Coinbase account. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to use Apple Wallet on Coinbase, first thing you need to know is you have to have had a payment method connected in your Apple Pay wallet. I've already added my debit card into my Apple Pay wallet. If you haven't added a payment method into your Apple Pay wallet in the Apple Pay wallet application, you you need to do that first. If you need help with that, I did another video that describes that process in detail. However, as long as you have a payment method set up in your Apple Pay wallet and you want to use it in Coinbase, it's pretty easy. It's used to purchase cryptocurrency. So first you need to go through the purchase process. So first you want to choose what type of cryptocurrency you want to buy with your Apple Pay wallet. So for today, we'll go ahead and use Ethereum as an example, this line right here. Once you click there, it's going to show you the historical price chart for Ethereum. As you can see, it's trading for about $1,300 right now. And in order to use Apple Pay wallet on Coinbase, you want to click on this button here called trade. Once you click on trade, you'll see this pop up and you want to click on this one called buy. It has a plus sign next to it. Okay guys, so this is really important. This is where you can use your Apple Pay wallet in Coinbase. First thing you want to do is look up here towards the top. As you can see in blue, it's by default using my bank account as the payment method on Coinbase. But today we want to use our Apple Pay wallet. So you want to click on this blue line right here. Okay, so once you click there, you will see all the different payment methods available in your Coinbase account. Now, if you've already added a payment method into your Apple Pay, it's automatically going to show up right here, as you can see. Now there is a $5,000 limit. So for me, I'm small potatoes, so that's totally fine with me. And in order to use Apple Pay Wallet on Coinbase, you want to click on the Apple Pay line. Okay, once you click there, it's going to pop back here into the purchase process. But as you can see at the top, it's written in blue now, pay with Apple Pay. Next, you can choose how much Ethereum you want to buy with your Apple Pay Wallet. So we'll just type in $10. All right, next, I'm going to click on this blue preview buy button. Okay, guys, so this is the preview confirmation screen. So it lets you know the price. And then this is the important part for your payment method. You need to make sure it says Apple Pay right here, which mine does. It does let you know the Coinbase fee. So the total amount that would be withdrawn from my payment method on Apple Pay would be $10. However, only $9.01 will go towards purchasing cryptocurrency. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to use your Apple Pay wallet on Coinbase, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.